Hello dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Aishwari Agarwal, your English teacher. Today's topic is... Today's topic is to read the class 5 of the West Bengal Board English Medium. Let's see your English textbook butterfly. Today's lesson 3 is to read the full money is India. Open your English textbook butterfly. Those who study in class 5, West Bengal Board English Medium, open your textbook butterfly. Open lesson 3, Full Money is India. I am going to read out. So learn with me. Lesson 3, Full Money is India. Full Money is a Santhal girl. Her house is in a village. Have you ever been to her house? There are beautiful pictures painted on the wall both outside and inside her house. All her neighbors have painted on their doorways and interiors. There are pictures of trees, flowers and birds on the walls and floors. Fulmani, like her elders, loves to paint on the mud walls. She uses many colors. Her teachers told her that even in ancient India, people used to paint inside the caves and on the rocks of hills. The rock paintings of Bhimbetka are more than 20,000 years old. They are red, white, green or yellow in color. Fulmani has never been to Bhimbetka to see the rock paintings of ancient men. But she has heard stories about the famous rock paintings from her teacher. One day, her teacher showed her a picture. She came to know that it was the picture of a very famous cave painting of our country. Do you want to see that painting? Here it is. This is one of the paintings found in the Ajanta Caves. It is a fresco. Almost 2000 years ago, some great Indian artists painted inside the caves of Ajanta and Ellora. Our country is the home to many religions. Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism appear together in the sculptures of Ellora. Down the ages, many great artists painted inside many other temples and churches of our country. Little Fulmani is surprised to know that many of the Indian dance forms started within the temples. Fulmani is a natural dancer. She loves to dance to the rhythm of the drum like all the other members of her community. Her teacher said that folk dance is a popular art form among the various communities of India. The Punjabis love the Bhangra dance. In the same way, Dandia is popular in Gujarat, Bihu in Assam, and Chau in West Bengal. Fulmani loves to watch Chau dance performed during festivals. The performers wear masks. They shake their heads and jump in the air in harmony with music. Fulmani always cries out in joy at the end of a Chau dance performance. Last Sunday, little Fulmani went to see a Jatra with her parents. Fulmani was thrilled to see the Jatra. The next day when she narrated the story of the performance to the class, her teacher said that Jatra is actually a kind of folk theatre. This kind of theatre is performed under different names in different parts of our country. It is called Tamasha in Maharashtra, Notanki in North India and Jatra in Bengal. Most of these folk theatres are based on mythological incidents or characters. India has a rich heritage of classical dance. There are many classical dance forms and each deals with some mythological narrative. The dancers wear colorful dresses and dance in harmony with music. Dramatics is an essential part of the Indian classical dance tradition. Kathak is a dance of North India, while Bharatnatya, Mohiniattam, Kuchipuri and Kathakali are all from South India. Manipuri and Odissi dance are dance forms of Eastern India. Such a wide variety of dance forms cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Dance and music have always been integral to the Indian culture. Fulmani has a sweet voice. She believes that she can sing in harmony with musical instruments like sitar, tabla, 
Sarangi, drum and so on. Fulmani came to know that the Indian kings and rulers patronized classical music and dance in their courts. Emperor Akbar loved to listen to the songs of Tansen. Our country is so big that we have many different styles of classical music like Hindustani and Carnatic. Each of these styles grew in temples and developed down the ages. Fulmani is proud to be an Indian. She has heard that our country is full of great monuments, forts and wonderful architectures. She has seen the picture of the Taj Mahal. It is one of the seven wonders of the world. The fort at Agra and the red fort in Delhi are also worth seeing. The huge gateway or Bulan Darwaza built by Emperor Akbar at Fatehpur Sikri is also among the monuments that Fulmani wishes to see. She hopes that some day she will be able to travel all over India and see all the fascinating monuments. Let's learn the word meanings. Now what's Bhimbetka? It's a place situated in Madhya Pradesh. What's Ajanta? The caves are situated in Maharashtra. Ajanta caves are famous for paintings based on the tales of Lord Buddha. Fresco, a painting on the plaster of the wall. Illora, these caves are in Maharashtra too. Images of Hindu gods and goddesses are found here. We also find sculptures related to Jainism and Buddhism. Sculpture, carving on wood or stone, community, people of the same clan or society. Mythological, related to imaginary age-old tales handed down through generations. Heritage, elements of culture which are passed on from one generation to another. Harmony, matching in rhythm, essential, most necessary. Patronized, gave support to art, music, etc. So I hope you have learned today's lesson. Full money is India. Open your English textbook, Butterfly. Those who study in class 5, West Bengal Board, English medium, also Bengal medium. They will be Butterfly, Boitar, lesson 3, touch, comment on the Koralam. Full money is India. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.